waste leashes. that are fascinated by the people. It was Norton and Ralph originally. Let's see. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> oh boy, you really caught me here. Um, let me uh, let me put my underwear on and come right back to me, and I'll, I'll tell you what it's about. Yeah, uh, Oma's friend is being shy. She's right there. She knows all about this. That's much smaller than Ralph and Martin. Because the other one was almost half that one. I don't know, there's things right there to say. Oh, you mean the, oh, the, you're saying beluga, you know what I'm hearing? Persian. Okay, beluga. Now I got it. One of the belugas on? Oh, that would be terrible. Okay, I can be mistaken about that. Let's see, look at it. One of them is like a whole lot longer than the other one. See, that one's a whole lot bigger than the other one, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, look at those. Rainbow. I guess they know who the head fish is. see if we can find every fish on this whole chart. Okay, we already saw those, but we didn't see that one. We saw this one. How about this guy? Ooh, there's a, uh, see that one up there with a the long nose that looks like a saw? Which one's here? Yeah, what do you call it? It looks like a That's because he's called a large tooth sausage. Now, of course, the stars of the show are the whale sharks. 
Uh, here comes a whale shark coming straight towards the window right here. We do have three of them. As soon as this one gets a little closer, I'll tell you who it is. This is Alice. Everybody say hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. Now, the three whale sharks that we have are named Norton, Alice, and Trixie. Now, if those names sound familiar, we did get them from the honeymooners. If those names don't sound familiar, don't worry about it. Um, now, our biggest one right now is Norton. He's about 22 feet long. Alice and Trixie are about a 16 or 17 feet long apiece, but nobody's done growing yet. Uh, we're expecting everybody to get between 25 and 35 feet long. Now, I'll give you some idea of how big that is. The window that you're in front of here is 63 feet across, and right now I'm standing right in the middle of it. So it's about 31 and a half feet to either side of me, and it wouldn't be at all unusual to find our whale sharks taking up more than half the window when they're fully grown. I mean, to be on with there to there. Biggest whale shark that's ever been accurately measured came in at just over 40 feet. But we believe that they can get up into the 50 and 60 foot range, so they get very big. They're the biggest fish that we have here at the Georgia Aquarium, and they are in fact the biggest fish in the world. And it's very important to remember that they're the biggest fish, because a lot of folks come in here and they say, well, it's a whale shark, but is it a whale or is it a shark? Well, it is in fact a shark. We call it a whale shark for two reasons. One is because they get really big, and we just talked about how big they can get. But the other reason why we call them a whale shark is because of what they eat. Now, they don't eat these fish. I know this looks like a pretty tempting little snack for a big shark like that. But the truth is that the whale shark has a mouth that can be about four feet wide, and they have about 300 rows of teeth, but they've got a very small throat, and they cannot comfortably swallow anything bigger than about a quarter. So they're filter feeders. In the wild, they'll eat plankton, microscopic plants and animals, and here at the Georgia Aquarium, we feed them krill, which is a very small shrimp. They get about 32 pounds of krill each every day. We just pour it out of buckets right in front of their mouths and they slurp it up. And uh, they've got these special organs called gill rakers that separate out all the food particles, which they swallow, and then the water just passes right on through the gills. All right. Now, for those of you who are just coming up the ramp, we're just getting going. If you keep moving to the left or right, we've got a few seats left down here. They'll, those will be taken up. Excellent. There's plenty of room on the sides. I could go on and on about whale sharks, but I want to talk about some other stuff real fast. All these little yellow fish swimming here in front of the window, they've got two black stripes. Those are called pork fish. Now, they're called pork fish because they're the other white meat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're called pork fish because they make grunting sounds. They can grind the teeth in their heads together to create those grunting sounds. I also see up here these little wiggly fish up here. Those are blue-striped grunts. They also make grunting sounds. If you look down here towards the bottom, I don't know if everybody can see it, but it should veer off and head off where you can see it. That's a southern stingray. Now, stingrays have gotten a little bit of a bad rap lately, but they're very docile animals. They do have that sharp stinging barb, but when they sting something, the barb comes out, and it can take them six months to a year to grow a new one. And until they do, they're pretty much defenseless. So they don't sting just because they feel like it. They only sting if they feel like their life is being threatened. By the way, you know how you can tell you tall. Here's this blue-green fish right here in front of the window with a hump on its head. That's a hump head. It's a humphead wrasse, spelled W-R-A-S-S-E, largest member of the wrasse family. Um, and now let's talk about these big gray fish. We've got a couple of them over here on the left side, one staring through the window. Uh, those are giant grouper. Now, if you're wondering if they can see you through the window, the answer is yes, but I don't recommend getting into a staring contest with them because you will lose. <laughs> We're not entirely sure why they do that, but we think it's because they like to live in dark spaces, like caves. They're ambush predators. They'll jump out of caves and, and try to grab other fish and lobsters. Um, and it's darker in here than it is in the exhibit, so we think they're trying to move in here. So if you see a grouper swimming through the window, just let me know. Um, now, what do you all think about that giant grouper? Does that look like a pretty big fish to you? Yeah? What would you say if I told you that fish could double in size? What would you say if I told you that fish could triple in size? Well, triple's getting to be a maybe. They're getting pretty big, but double's still pretty short. They get to be about 10 feet long and weigh up to 900 pounds. But they don't get that big in a real big hurry because they live into their 50s and they don't reproduce until they're in their 20s. 
So if you were thinking about having the grouper sandwich, you might want to hold off on that just a little bit, because it does take them 20 years before they can make more. And they're a very popular food fish, but that's not what we would call a sustainable seafood source. Now if you'd like to have more information about sustainable seafood sources, you can pick up one of these little cards. Monterey Bay Aquarium developed this program, it's called Seafood Watch. Here at the Georgia Aquarium, we're going to call it Seafood Savvy. And it's all about making informed, sustainable decisions about seafood, because we want people to be able to eat seafood, but not just today, but tomorrow and on into the future. So if you'd like to have one of these, you can get one from me, or you can get one from anyone here in the aquarium who has the little blue button that says, your seafood choices affect the oceans, ask me how. Now I hope I was able to answer a few of everybody's questions today. We've got about 40 species of animals here in Ocean Voyager, and I wasn't able to get to everything because they only give me a few minutes to talk to y'all. But I will take some more questions down here on the floor in just a second. When you're finished looking at Ocean Voyager, the exit's to your left, and we have four other galleries for you to enjoy today. Highly recommend Tropical Dive. We've got some really amazing cuttlefish in there that I just love. Ooh, if you borrowed one of our dive cards to help you identify the fish, hope you enjoyed it, but please be sure to turn it in before you leave the gallery so that others can do so as well. And I do want to thank everybody for coming out here today. Um, my name's David once again. If you'd like to have a Seafood Watch card, I'll be glad to give you one of those. But otherwise, thanks for coming out and have a fantastic day. The shot. <laughs> there we go. Mary, thank goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, I won't get right now? Sensitive? No. Shoulder. Bad to be tall and find spaces because my limbs are too long. Yeah. 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 See those ones that look like flames? Can you see them? See them like right here at the front? See that guy that looks pink and yellow and a little tail? Doesn't he look like a flame? What about these guys that are all swimming together? They look like a little bunch of. Them. I like to see them. I like to see them. I like to the garden, that's what I think too. I love the garden. They're very cute, aren't they? They're so funny. Up and down they go. They say, look how little fish were hiding. Oh, there's one that's brave. Oh, look at this. Mommy, you know? Oh, there he goes. Fish swims by, they go, oh, no, 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 I don't know, but they're funny, aren't they? Yeah, we have to go to school when they do that. Yeah. 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 I don't know, I've never seen one all the way out of his hole, but that guy down there looks pretty long. Look at his eyes.
They're adorable. They're trying to get Matthew. out. Okay. So good. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Yeah. So it is. Uh-oh. Turning gold, see him? In the back? He just turned gold and then brown. What did I say? Don't stop telling me. You see him, the one on the wood? He's doing different colors. The ones on the sand are changing to the sand color. Oh, look at this one right here. His stripes are coming and going. They can do a really dramatic light show. It's a fish on the Oh, those on there. Like their tentacles can light up a little here, buddy. beams of light and stuff. Here comes one. Watch this one, Karen. Watch him. Watch him as he goes through the light here. Oh, he's coming right up here, close to us. Look at this. Oh, he's coming right up here. You see him, Karen? Right there in front of me. Oh, I found a little pocket. Yeah, that, look at this one. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this one. Check it out. Huh? What was the last aquarium you were at? Look at them swim. Oregon? Oregon. Well, in their jellyfish gallery, they had like they had the, all these framed like old pictures. So they had like old picture frames. This window. It was like a gallery. <laughs> Oh, they. 
popular in the 70s.